Have you ever wanted to make your own Lego RC car, but didn't want to buy expensive Lego Technic motors? Or you didn't want to hassle with the programming of an RC controller? Well, those are my thoughts exactly. So I bought a cheap but fast RC car, and now I'm going to show you the process I went through to make this into a Lego RC car. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, now that we've done some baseline performance testing, let's get into taking this apart. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take weight of this so we can compare uh, the original car and the Lego car weight. 621 grams. So the first step of disassembly is just take off these little pins here, pull out easily. Before we get too deep into the electronics and the wiring, we're going to take out the battery first. Now that that's opened up here, you can see the different compartments. Here is the RC motor. Under here is the uh, control board with uh, the RC chip on there. And then here is the servo motor. So we're going to take those apart. So as you can see the control board here, there's several wires we want to take out. This first one is for the motor, one for the steering servo, and then the battery on the back side is already disconnected. And there's just, uh, looks like one screw to take this out. And that is our control board. Next part here, we'll take out the motor, which is under this plastic cover. And here's the motor. Looks like the plastic cover was just holding it in place, so it pulls right out of there. To get the shaft out, it looks like we'll have to take off these two differential covers. And the last thing here would be to take this steering servo motor out. So it looks like this servo motor just has two screws on the back side. Yeah. Okay, now that that's disassembled, if we don't need this anymore, let's go over the main components we have. We have the battery, which will be our power source. We have the DC motor, which we'll use to power and drive our wheels. We have this gear shaft, which we may need to connect the motor to the Lego parts. We'll see. We have our steering servo. This one will be used to steer the Lego parts. And then we have our control board. So this is going to connect all these together and also correspond to our original RC controller. So for this build of converting a Lego car to an RC car, um, we're starting with the Lego Bugatti chassis. I've taken that car apart and made something to mount all these components. Uh, pretty much had to take apart and rebuild most of the car. And I'll show you some of the challenges I came across with that. So the first challenge is with this uh, steering servo. It has just two mounting locations. What I came up with was taking some parts like this and hinge it on these mounting flanges. With that, what I did was I slid it into the steering rack assembly. The next challenging part of this build was getting this DC motor matched up with the Lego gears. So you can see the gears on the motor are quite a bit smaller than Lego gears, so definitely it wasn't going to work. So I chose to keep the original gear and shaft out of the RC car. 
So a Lego gear would end up going onto this shaft here. The shaft here is basically a half circle and Lego parts are cross shaped. So to modify this Lego gear, basically took a knife and cut out two corners of this cross shape here and then jammed the, the shaft into there. Yep, we've got the gear spinning pretty straight, so that looks good. Now I'll take and put the front and half back of this car back together. So finally, let's see how I went about mounting, mounting this DC motor. So it is a round motor, and there's very little places to mount. So I had to come up with a creative solution for this as well. I basically dropped this whole thing down in there. And then once it's in place, I had a, a bar fold over and catch onto this corner and then mounted it back so it could not slide in this direction. And again, the, the rear end of the motor was sitting down and the front end of the motor is sitting down onto the gear. So it was constrained in that way. So this bar folds down here, and then I put a shaft through here to lock it, and the motor is mounted. So now that the steering servo is mounted, and the motors are mounted, motor, the last things to mount are the battery and the control board. So for the battery, I left a nice space here that this can just tuck in there. Of course, the battery you want to be easily removable as well. For the control board, this one is important to be careful with. On the back side here, you have all these solder connections. Um, this is dangerous. If those touch some piece of metal, they can short and cause a fire or ruin your control board. So it's important to take a piece of either duct tape or electrical tape, something, and cover those solder joints so that nothing is shorted and you don't ruin your control board. Now that the control board is taped up, we can start to connect all the connectors here. So I have the motor, the steering connector, and lastly the battery connector. So with all that on, let's turn the controller on, test out the function, steering works. Uh, power to the wheel, forward and reverse. So looks like everything's working. For comparison, let's take the weight of the Lego car. 821 grams. Seems the basic basic function works. One, two, three. That one crash just destroyed the whole car. Looks like it's time for a rebuild.